Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Geometries in ComSol Multiphysics. A host of videos have already been uploaded in this particular series and we are again uploading few more videos and these videos will be helpful for designing complicated geometries. Sometimes we need to design a complicated geometry because of the demand from the problem. So your problem may have a complicated geometrical model and you have to design it in ComSol and that time you may need to use several options. And in this particular series, we will be focusing on those options. Today, we will be talking about twisting, how we can make twist in ComSol 3D geometry. So the fundamental things I will be talking about today. Before I start today's discussion, I would like to tell you that we have initiated a service where you can write to us and we fix a video call and assist you developing your model. If you want to avail this service, then write to me. My email ID will be given in the description box. And if you write to me, I'll be reply back. I'll reply back to you. So let us go ahead with today's discussion. So we initially right click on geometry and click the option work plane. I have already talked about the work plane option in previous video. I'll put that video in the description box. And if you watch that video, it will be more helpful. But briefly, I will talk about it. So in 3D geometry, we have X, Y and Z axis, say in Cartesian coordinate. So we may have different planes like X, Y plane, Y, Z plane, Z, X plane. So what if I want to draw certain 2D object at a defined plane, say X, Y. So in that case, your work plane will be necessary. And then what we can do is whatever geometry we draw, we draw at a particular plane, then we can extrude it at a certain direction. So those options are available. So whenever you choose the work plane option, it asks you to define your plane. So here you can see in the drop down menu, you can have options for multiple planes. You can actually change the plane. So here, let us carry on with the defined default XY plane. So when you click here, you will see there will be an option coming automatically and that is plane geometry. If you right click on it, you will get all the options. Those were available in a 2D model. So initially we take a rectangle. Let us define some arbitrary values of the sides. Uh, so this is the rectangle we have chosen. Now we want to extrude it. So we go to geometry, right click on it. There will be an option extrude here. We click on it and it will show a vector direction. So this vector direction basically showing the direction in which we are trying to extrude. And this option, the work plane one option is showing which object you, we, we actually want to extrude. So we want to extrude whatever we have drawn in work plane 1 and that's why uh, it will be work plane 1. You can also change this option if you have multiple work planes then you may have multiple options coming in this drop down menu. So for the time being we will try the extrude only. So this is a kind of normal extrude you can see <coughs> how much extrusion is happening in the z direction 1 meter. <coughs> so you can change this. If we put it to, it will be twice. So you can see by this way, you can actually control the extrude option. So we have more options to control here. If you see here, there is an option twist angle. If we play around with it, then we'll have twisting option. Say I make it 10 degree. <clears throat> then click here. So you can say I can twist it by 10 degree. Now, if we make it 20 degree, it will be more twisted. So you can see if we make it 30, there will be more twist. So this is how we can actually make twisting in a 3D geometry. And that will be sometimes very helpful if we, if we need certain twisting boundary 
and how exactly we utilize it that also I'll be talking about in the upcoming video but in today's video it is a short description of the options so from this video you learned about which option to be chosen for making the twist in the upcoming video I'll talk about how this option can be useful if we make a certain twisted geometry so keep watching this series it will be helpful and I'll request you to watch the entire playlist because if you watch the entire playlist then you will have all the knowledge about console geometry and you can use this console geometry as a CAD software to define any kind of geometry you want to have so today I stop here I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel if this is helping you support us so that we can develop more videos